What's going on, folks? It's Lucky Merc, and welcome back to some more Xeno Chat podcast for y'all. So this time we're going to be going into the novel comic variants of Aliens and Predator. Now the reason why I'm doing this intro is unfortunately I forgot to hit record while speaking to the folks on Twitch of my thoughts on the variants here and what Marvel comics could do with the character in their universe. Again, it's all my comments, all my thoughts, all my theories on it. So. That's all I can let y'all know. But yeah, I hope you enjoy on this one. Let's go. I'm pretty much sure that Ridley Scott has it, has the Alien franchise in the palm of his hand, and it's only going to be his way of how he'd like to do it. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. But I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I'll be wrong, and Disney will be like, you know, we want to venture into this franchise as much as possible and get a lot of stuff out. Let's make it the new Marvel, you know? Um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know. Maybe they could look at something like how the uh, how the comics are, how they're doing the variants at the moment. Let me just um, Marvel Predator uh, variants. So they got a lot of cool variants going on, like the front covers. Like they got the Miles Morales Spider-Man one. Like that looks so cool. You know, they got the Daredevil one. That would be interesting. Yeah, there's like a ton of them. There's like like a ton of them. And I think one that would really, really work would probably be Black Panther versus Predator. They'll put Predator right back into its original hunting ground, which is the jungle, and fighting against uh, Black Panther and the crew that have uh, Veritanium, you know what I mean? It could be a bad blood. I think that would be a really interesting idea. Uh, well, actually, this one would be a really interesting idea. Hold on, L let, me, let me show you which one that it is. Uh, I mean, they got a lot of cool variants. Got a lot of cool variants, right? Predator versus Hulk. Yeah. Yo, the out year would kill Black Widow. All right, folks. So I'm going to correct this right now. So what I said earlier about Black Widow would get destroyed by the Predator, I have to change that because I think personally, after re-watching this and reading a few of the comics of Black Widow, Natasha Romanova would just destroy the Predator. Given how the Prey movie was where Nadu just whoop the butt of the out you there black widow would just do it with ease so yo i'm changing this black widow you all right um what else is there against the x-men the out your team versus the x-men that would be sick it's the blade one this one here the blade one the uh would be pretty interesting yeah i'd like that <sighs> Ooh, so exciting. Have here. Captain Marvel, eh, Defenders. Eh, I, I don't think that um, the out you would fight against cosmic uh, creatures. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Iron Man, maybe, maybe. Iron Cat, Miss Marvel. Hey, yo, what the fuck? This is the stupidest one. Like, there's no way that the out yeah, would want to verse against teenagers, you know? I mean, okay, it's going to verse against a young lady in Prey, but the out would kill Miss Mom. Oh, there you. Kiss my sweet ass. And all of the little geeky kids that Miss Marvel surrounds herself with, so... Yeah, but this... Ah, boom. This would be the dope one. Predator versus Wolverine. I think that would be sick. That would be really, really sick. If they made a movie of that, that would, that would be dope. That would be really dope. Yo, let's, let's go into the... Uh, Bunch of the alien ones. Fucking a. So against Spider-Man. The thing is, I'm not really that interested on seeing the Xenomorphs on Earth because after reading the Earth War, I'm pretty sure that they would destroy them. <laughs> and with Marvel as well, because majority of Marvel is set in New York, right? But Spider-Man, you got Doctor Strange, you got the X-Men, you got the Avengers, all in New York. So the Xenomorph is only going to be in New York. The um, the space jockey ship is going to fly it just into New York. Maybe maybe a ship will fly into Canada. You know, you've got uh, you know you got Wolverine Saber Tooth out in there. Again, another cool concept would be the Xenomorph. Uh, maybe Wakanda, just like that. Yeah, that would be that would be something. Would the suit be able to withstand acid though? What would happen if the Yautyas started adding mutant genes to their genes? Um, end game. The Yautyas is just, it depends what type of Yautyas as well. If it was like Bad Blood, for instance, that are just like the ultimate rogues, they just just do not care whatsoever, and they just go out to kill, no matter what you are, man, woman, child, they will go out to kill. If they had mutant genes in them, yo, forget the super predator and the predator, like just imagine that amped up on major steroids and superpowers. <laughs> 
kiss the earth good night no black widow would die from the xenomorphs um just saying black cat would die from the xenomorphs she's hovering around those eggs like oh yo i like once they open you best be careful captain america now i love captain america he's my favorite marvel hero of all time but he's going to struggle with an onslaught of Xenomorphs. If he was with the Avengers, then he would be able to, you know, formulate a plan to take them down. Kind of like quarantine them, but I don't think he would be able to, like, kill them all. He would like to contain them somehow in, like, a, in a deep enclosed area away from the rest of civilization and either get Hulk to just throw the whole containment room up into space <laughs> which they can still like survive in space you know I think some folks out there must think like oh you know if the alien gets blown out into space into the vacuum then it's dead it doesn't it just hibernates it doesn't die I this is the first time that I've seen this so they put Carol Danvers in the role of Ripley holding the cat I can't remember Carol Danvers cat's name but uh, yeah okay I, I see where that's going that's that's interesting that's that's interesting. Uh, Daredevil. I don't know why Xenomoss would be in Hell's Kitchen, but hey ho, it is what it is. Maybe the Kingpin is up to something. Ha <laughs> ha Um, is that supposed to be a King Alien? Hmm. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy. If the Xenomorphs actually infested nowhere, I mean, I don't know, would the Nova Corps just come in and just obliterate all of them, or? I don't know. Hulk would be able to survive from the acid onslaught. So the, the, the Xenomorphs would just be coming in and he would just be fighting until he gets tired. But then he could actually, I don't know, if he gets too tired and he, he's slowly going to transform back into Bruce, Xenomorphs might just rush him and kill him. Mm, Iron Fist. Mm. There's only so much that you, Iron Fist would be able to do to try and withhold them. Iron Man would just have to stay in the air the whole time, just blasting them away. If he, as soon as he gets onto the ground, they're all going to try and pile onto him. But then maybe it might be the whole like Neo versus all of those Agent Smiths in um, The Matrix Reloaded. And he just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Miles Morales. Peter Darker. Um, Shang-Chi. I don't think that martial arts will work against Xenomorphs. Are you serious? There's only so much roundhouse kicks that you can do to them until their face bursts and acid sprays on you, you know? Thor would have a fun time fighting against him. He would have a very fun time. That would be an interesting fight to see. And this is the fight that everybody would want to see, regardless if you are an Aliens fan or a Marvels fan. Xenomorphs versus Venom. And I'm pretty sure that Venom has a bit of influence from the uh, Xenomorphs. I am pretty sure that he has a tiny bit of influence from the Xenomorphs. Who would win? Who would you think would win? The Yautyas versus Marvel? <laughs> Xenomorphs versus Marvel? Either way, we'll see what happens with what Marvel's gonna do with the two franchises. And uh, let's see what happens with Disney on the two franchises. We've got Prayer to Prey coming out soon. So, uh, next month actually. So, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a little Summit Summit, isn't it? Now get out of my way! Don't forget to subscribe! That's it.